So I'm coming to you to talk about something that I'm going through. Uh, we're going to talk about weight loss surgery. There's a couple different kinds. Um, what I'm doing is called gastric sleeve, and um, it's less evasive than um, bypass. First off, this is very hard for me, but I want there be a, to be a record of some kind of what I, I'm going through and how I'm approaching it. So I'm doing this video. You know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, weight loss surgery, that's the easy way out. Well, that's the first thing I want people to know. This has not been easy, and this will not be easy as I go through this journey that I'm on right now. So if you think this is easy, I have some eye-opening things to share with you that you might not realize. Um, first off, weight loss surgery has never been an option for me. It's never been on the table for me, personally. Like, it's something that was off the table for me that I, I didn't want to have to do or want to do. But because of some health problems, I'm now considering it. And I'm in the process of going through all the procedures to take that step. A few months ago, I started having some issues with my liver. Some of you know that. Some of you don't. It's enlarged quite a bit. Um, 24 centimeters and it's starting to have stages of stetosis meaning it's starting to harden it's not cirrhosis it's stetosis but it can later in years turn into cirrhosis so it's something serious and for me this is something that I thought I would never encounter because I'm not a drinker all my friends know that I might have a drink once a year don't laugh my daughter's probably laughing so, seeing my doctor, the first thing that they said is you really need to lose weight. Losing weight can help you. Not only with this, but your blood pressure, your sleep apnea, and all the other things that you know, you've been having problems with the past year. I used to just have problems with my blood pressure, maybe a little arthritis, but now things are progressing. And health is important because I want to be here for my grandchildren, my children, as long as I can be. And I want to be able to do things with them, fun things, and not have my health be a reason that, oh, Nana couldn't come, Mom couldn't come. Um, so I decided, well, I wanted to see a specialist about my liver. So I visited UAB at the Kirkland Clinic. Immediately they did the same test that my regular doctor did here and confirmed that, yes, this is all true. You do have problems with your liver. It is stetosis. We need to monitor you. But the first thing out of their mouth was, you really need to lose weight. So they recommended I see their uh, weight loss clinic there at UAB. But because it's hard for me to go back and forth to Birmingham, I decided to see the weight loss clinic here in Tuscaloosa at DCH, which would be Dr. Bilton, which I know several people that have used Dr. Bilton and are happy with him. So, I have been on this journey, I guess, six months now. So those of you that think this is easy, here's a little eye opener for you. There is a to-do list. I'll put a picture of it in here somewhere, maybe at the end of this video. But on the to-do list, let me just pull it up and see if I can read it to you. I should have it open already. Okay. The first thing that you'll be told when you go to the clinic or to the class that explains how this works and how insurance plays into it and how, um, you are required to do certain things by your insurance company, depending on your plan, before you can even be considered to do this. So it's not like, oh, let's have weight loss surgery, because it does not work that way. Um, you have to have a record of your weight for the past three years with a BMI that is high enough to be considered for weight loss. You'll have to have a record of you going to a doctor 
once, at least once a year for the past three years that shows your weight with a BMI high enough to be considered for weight loss surgery. Blue Cross Blue Shield requires that you have six consecutive months of visits, one visit per month with your doctor, your primary care physician, or a clinic that shows that you are currently and actively trying to lose weight and it's just not working for you. There was a total of seven visits. It's kind of confusing. It says six consecutive months, but it has to be a total of seven visits. If you skip a month or if you miss a month for any reason during this time, it resets. You have to start over. So you have to be consistent with these appointments. Your last appointment cannot be before the date of your first appointment. So say if you go on the 5th and then you go on the 6th, you go on the 10th, you're good all the way to the end. But when you get to your last appointment, it cannot be on the 3rd if it was, your first appointment was on the 5th. It has to be after the 5th. You're required to do labs. You have to, well, on my list, uh, I had to have a mammogram. I had to have uh, PAP. I had to have uh, OBGYN clearance that there were no issues going on there. I had to have a sleep test, which I had already done because I do have sleep apnea, so they were able to use that. I had to have an upper GI, a swallow test to show if I had reflux, heartburn. Um, I had to have a psyche valve, and I have a colonoscopy scheduled for next week. So at 50, they want you to do that. Most insurances won't pay for it until you're 50, so guess what? I turned 50 during this process, so that's just one more thing I had to add to my list. Other people might have to do different things or extra things. Some people are required to do um, an EGD, uh, which is like that's where they do the light. Uh, some people have to have cardiac clearance. I guess if you had heart issues or cardiac problems, um, you cannot smoke. It is required that you quit smoking at least eight weeks prior to the surgery. I don't smoke, so this wasn't an issue for me. Um, some doctors require that you lose a certain amount of weight before you can be considered to show that you're willing to try. It may be 10 pounds, it may be 20. I guess it depends on how heavy you are. But that's just uh, part of the to-do list. So when people say, oh, that's the easy way out, this is not an easy way out. There is a lot to it. There is a lot behind the scenes. <clears throat> To be considered and to be done and it's costly like every time I go to the doctor there's a $30 copay every time I go to a specialist there's a $50 copay so it's not something that I just willy-nilly jumped on a bandwagon and said I want to do this this is um, a long process and it's a long journey and I am nervous even though I've been told this will help me and my problems with sleep apnea my blood pressure and of course my liver is what steps me over the line to want to do this um i'm still on the verge of do i want to do i not want to do i want to do i not want to it's a daily struggle but i have to finish these processes before i can even be considered and even if i go through all these steps i might not be approved by insurance so that would take it back off the table for me so it is not easy it will be a long drawn out process so this is just video one in the videos that I am planning on doing. This is just me talking about the why and the steps to even get started. As I go through the process, I want to try to do other videos that explain, um, you know, the process once I've been approved, what the next steps are, the actual surgery, just so people can get a feel for what really is happening in my life and know that it's not something that I'm taking lightly. Thanks for watching.